my name's Clarence Walker. Uh, I'm uh, the stake patriarch of Granite Stake. I was the Bishop of Lincoln Ward for 11 years, and later I was the President of Granite Stake for about 10 years. Yeah, well, it, it was built during the height of the Depression, you know, 1927-28. Uh, In fact, there's a plate on the building outside that has the dates on. Uh, it was 10 years before they dedicated it because it wasn't paid for. It had to be paid for. But Willard Richards became the bishop, and I think that was the time when Stephen L. Richards was in the first presidency, and he went downtown and talked with them about it and got us some relief. So they forgave us and dedicated it. President Grant is the one who dedicated this building, and I had a, a copy of the original prayer signed by him. They also made a copy of it and, ha and have framed it, and it now hangs in our downstairs foyer. Walt Trafford became the bishop, and I was one of his counselors, and we had been in the bishopric a week, and Elder Lee came down and visited with us and said, if you brethren would build a, a little chapel here for Lincoln Ward, we could move nine stakes in upstairs just on Sundays to hold their their state conferences and we'd save the church a million dollars. So we built it. When, when they, they built it, they wanted to, of course, match it and make it look like the, the other building. And uh, the, of course, there's stonework on the other building. They need, we needed to match that and they couldn't find a stonemason. But they looked up the fellow who did the work on the original building and found him and he was 80 years old and he got a crew and came back and supervised uh, so that it matched. Yeah, when, when I was, it was the stake president, uh, uh, they wanted to tear the, this building down and put up one of those more friendly people building and I just said to them, over my dead body, we love this place. <laughs> That's all I said to them. Yeah, we still have it. Actually, uh, that building is probably the, the core of our life. Uh, all of our activity has been in that building for years. Uh, all of our church activity and, and uh, you know, friendships uh, and uh, board members, uh, they come and go. We bump into them uh, from time to time and they're all over the uh, city now, some of them are even out of the city. Well, the banquet hall uh, has been just that forever. Uh, uh, we've had uh, uh, all of our banquets uh, there, and uh, we have been able to seat to three and four hundred people uh, down there for banquets. We, we used to have road shows in the stake, and in fact, I guess they were all over the church, but uh, this stage was built so that the truck could back right up and we could put the scenery just uh, backstage rather than having to run it through the uh, audience to get it on the stage. The church had bought uh, a lot of uh, furnishings from the Mary Pickford Estate and among those things was a Steinway piano. And uh, in as much as we were looking for one, he asked if we could have it, and they said, sure. And uh, it's here now in our Relief Society room. Yeah, the organ actually was uh, the number three organ in the state when uh, it was uh, put in here, uh, number one being the Tabernacle uh, organ, and then the Assembly Hall, hall organ, and then this one. Of course, now that they have put the big organ in the uh, conference center, I guess it's probably number four now. The, uh, there, there is a statement on the back of the uh, uh, big chapel uh, that says the glory of God is intelligence. And at one time when the building was repainted and whatnot, that was covered up. 
but the last time that uh, the building was renovated, we had that uncovered so that it now uh, is visible and can be read all the time. President Grant always wanted to be a good singer. He had a hard time being a good singer, though. But he used to come down here early in, in the morning and bring a tabernacle organist with him and uh, practice singing here in, in the tabernacle. We had a good time seeing him here. President Faust came to a state conference. He didn't have an assignment. And he came down and was on the stand. And when I came on the stand, he put his arms around me and said, are you the only one left? And I said, yeah, I guess so. And he said, how old are you? And I said, 82. And he said, me too. And he said, I guess we're the last two leaves on the tree. And I said, well, let's not fall. <laughs> the tabernacle is uh, the core of our life, actually. All of our activity has been there for 60 years or more. You know, anybody who was anybody lived in Granite Stake at one time or another. We bump into them all the time. Now, if I had a wish for this uh, grand old building, is that it would live on for another hundred years. <laughs>